Hey guys, hope you're doing well. My name is Louie. I'm going to be doing a reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please take what resonates, leave the rest. If you guys want to book a personal reading with me, please check the description box below. All the information will be found there. All right, guys, Um, the energy was very heavy when I was meditating. All right, I had started y'all's reading, but then I changed it. I was like, nah, let me go back. Okay, because there's a lot of energies going in. There's a lot of people involved, too. So, keep your mood silent. All right, so let's see. What do we got for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? Angel guides, spirit guides, are good love and light, clear and precise messages. Guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you guys want to book a personal, check the description box below. All the information will be found there. All right, guys, let's see. What do we got here? The initiation, rite of passage. So, crossing a threshold... Right, you guys are crossing a threshold. You guys are going through an initiation. Okay, so with this full moon, expect a lot of awakenings. Okay, expect a lot of illumination. Okay, that's what moons do. They illuminate the darkness. That's what the sun and the stars do. They illuminate the darkness. Okay, and we are the stars. So, let's see. What else we got? We got Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty, Devotion, Priestess, Mystic, Teacher. Some of you could be into tarot. Some of you could be um, mystic teachers or have knowledge of the occult. Okay, some of you are definitely starseeds here with the teacher and the mystic. Um, you guys have some sort of knowledge that you could share with the world. All right, take a break. All right, so take a break is coming out. A life, a life's work, not a life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill be careful getting off of a treadmill for some of you guys but take a break for some of you you guys are go 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 okay and you need to slow down okay i'm just hearing slow the fuck down all right so that's for some of you what else we got for aquarius this is the same card that came out last time all right so it says here imrama where are you being called to journey to some of you could be like moving all right somewhere at a distance it could be eat pray love kind of thing where you're going to move to like a different country or something like that um but you're being called to do something and you have some sort of like nudge okay so don't dismiss those knowledge those nudges okay because you guys are the priestess all right how are you being called to step up and lead okay so high priestess energy all right let's see what we got for you guys um Try this again. Let's see. Angel guys, fairy guys, a good little night. Clear and precise messages for my aquas. Some rising Venus and North Node. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the tarot. Alright, what's going on in the current energy for my aquas? What's going on in the current energy for my aquas? You have the King of Wands. Same card that came out. Somebody is definitely very mad at you. Okay. Um, with this energy. What's the King of Wands in the current energy? Aries Leo Sag for some of you. All right, here we go again. <laughs> Somebody wants to reach out to you, okay? They see you very victorious. They see you as a person who's very reliable, okay? They see you as a person who has a following, all right? So some of you could be in the public eye, um, don't have to be, but you guys are like herbal witches, green witches or something like that. All right, you guys are very reliable. You make good investment. You're a nurturer, okay? And with the Six of Wands showing up here, Leo energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, somebody sees you as this person. Somebody sees you glowing up, okay? And now they want to come in, 11-11, and reach out to you and give you a Two of Cups, okay? They see you very sexy, all right? They see you looking good. Some of you could be in the gym. Some of you could be kind of like in this energy where you're very determined, okay, or something like that. And that's what's making them mad. Okay, so I'm going to put these back. They want to come out. They could. All right, so in the current energy, we got King of Wands. What is the blockage for my Aquas? What's the blockage for my Aquas? The blockage, you have the sun. Okay, so something about exposure. All right, that's the blockage. You could be exposing these people and it's causing them to be upset. Okay, there could be something that you're saying or something like that. And let's say, for example, it could be at work. You could be exposing something or exposing, look, guys, this has to be an equal give and take. Okay, somebody here is definitely exposing something and it's causing somebody to be upset with the sun. Okay, some of you could be pregnant and it's causing you, causing somebody else to be upset. Okay, so um, what's in the foundation? 
You got the Six of Swords. You're moving on to calmer waters. Okay, so Six of Swords energy. What's in the recent past for my Aquas? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. You got the Four of Wands. So 11-11, right? A Divine Union. Okay, you guys could have graduated from something too. Now maybe like you have graduated and you're moving somewhere that's closer to college. That's for some of you. Okay, and you guys are going to be very happy doing that. All right, what's on your mind? Or that could be your children. What's on your mind? What is on your mind? All right, the three of wands in the reverse. You don't have foresight when it comes to something. Okay, with the three of wands in the reverse. Three of wands is talking about like growth, creativity. Okay, you're looking at land and you're waiting on your ships to come in, but you don't see this. Okay, so this is on your mind. Damn it, when is my ships gonna come in? When is when is this gonna happen? Okay, when are these things gonna come through? When am I gonna be able to buy my land? Okay, so three of wands, there's some sort of obstacle or something like that that's been placed there for a reason. Okay, because you go from the four of wands here in the recent past to the three of wands. Some of you here could have some sort of like situation where you're buying a, hou a house, but you need to get out of your house before you buy the house. Some shit like that. But anyway, if you guys are dealing with that, you guys have no sense of foresight or something like that. You don't see something coming through. It's going to come through. Okay, what's in the near future? What's in the near future? The five of pentacles being left out in the cold. Okay, or it could be regaining everything that you've lost. So let's see. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. I feel like there's somebody here who's being left out in the cold. I don't think this is you. And you never saw or you guys could have imagined this person being coming back towards you. Okay, or reaching out towards you after they left you out in the cold to give you this four of wands. But you never expected this to happen like this. Okay, they could be having some sort of tower moment. All right, if this is not you, this is the person that you're dealing with. All right, what's hidden? You have the two of wands. Somebody could be at a distance here. Okay, with the two of wands. This is waiting on results. Somebody's waiting on something so that, or planning something so that they could come in. All right, you got the two, three, and four of wands showing up. So what's in your environment, guys? There's somebody that's at a distance that's wanting to reach out to you. Okay, in your environment, five of cups, they're, they're in regret. Five of Cups, they're depressed. All right, this could be the person that you're dealing with. Or you guys could be. All right, flip it, switch it. I'm reading for you guys, though. Okay, so Five of Cups. In the environment, Five of Cups is like regret, depression, loss. You guys could be feeding your depression, okay, by watching movies or something like that. Don't do that. What is on your... What's the outcome? What is the outcome? All right, the outcome is a judgment. You're going through an awakening. Yeah, where are you being called to journey to? All right, you're going through some sort of an awakening. Some of you are just like fed up living where you're living. Okay, it could be like the house. It could be something that's causing depression. Maybe it's too dark or something like that. You're over it. All right, and when you turn your back on something, that's it. You've turned your back on something. Okay, for some of you here, you turn your back on love. Okay, you turn your back on love because you weren't going to be um, being left out in the cold anymore. You're not going to be somebody's second guess or somebody's second option here. You are the option. Okay, if they choose other people over you, let them choose the other people over you. Okay, you need to learn how to value yourself enough to walk away from anything. Chances are this person could have left you out in the cold and in the near future, I'm going to clarify this five of uh, pentacles, but this is you leaving them out in the, in the cold. Okay, because you're learning. The number five could be significant. You guys could be seeing five, five, five. All right, what's this king of wands in the current energy? What's the king of wands in the current energy? Angel guys, fair guys, a good little night. Clear and precise messages. King of wands. Damn. All right, King of Wands with the King of Swords, Gemini energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, you guys are over it. All right, you guys have ended this. For some of you, you guys spoke your truth. The sword is up. Okay, you said whatever you needed to say, and that's the end. Okay, you have nipped it in the butt. You're not carrying this shit on forever and ever. This person could be upset with you all day long, whatever the case may be. It could be a fire sign, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag for some of you. 
all right divine masculines okay so two alphas going at it all right so it could be a same sex connection it doesn't have to be king of swords that's you guys and then king of wands somebody who's like upset because of something that you're saying okay or something like that and it's causing them to have the ten of swords to hit rock bottom that's not your problem you're speaking up your truth all right king of swords is logical king of swords is very truthful right the king of wands is somebody who comes in very dominant very um vicious impulsive okay or something like that they look good so they think their shit don't stink what's this king of wands with the king of swords yeah somebody's definitely upset or you could be upset with this person somebody is upset that something ended okay what's this ten of swords the four of pentacles they're upset because you're letting go you're releasing this is capricorn energy okay this is holding on too tightly to something that you need to let go of this is you releasing it okay you're not holding on anymore to something for some of you you guys are turning your back on the city and you're leaving you have been saving money to leave somewhere okay so good for you the number 14 could be significant the number four could be significant 44 could be significant you guys are the chosen one is what i just heard okay um this person with the four of pentacles and the death card yeah you're calling it quits okay scorpio energy for some of you you're dealing with a scorpio all right you're going through a transformation and it's finally time it's it's been four years okay i just heard all right it's finally time to let go okay of one no longer serves you all right what's the sun and i feel like it is whatever it is that you're saying because the blockage here is the sun you could be exposing those people but now it's too late they've already hit rock bottom it's too late okay what's the sun what's the sun under the blockage all right the queen of pentacles in the reverse what's the queen of pentacles in the reverse with the sun i'm getting the sense of somebody took you for granted they went out okay they had sex with whoever the fuck they wanted to have sex with it could be a virgo taurus capricorn aries leo sag leo with the sun heavy leo because that's a major all right but here with the knight of wands they spread their wand around everywhere and the queen of pentacles in the reverse okay this person wasn't ready okay they weren't ready for what you had to offer them you wanted something real you wanted long-term commitment they wanted to experience the world and it's okay if they wanted to experience the world but somebody here led you on okay and then ghosted you so there's different ways to go about a situation all right so now you're the one calling judgment when it's in the outcome here all right for some of you here um queen of pentacles in the reverse could be somebody who does like magic okay a gold digger of some sort you're exposing this gold digger you're exposing this gold digger and this whore for some of you you're exposing two people this could be two different people all right but that's the blockage here somebody went off they went off let me show you how it looks they went off for materialistic stuff they went out to find somebody who will like support them okay because they're 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 fucking broke they're busted they're disgusted okay they're broke they're um they're broken they're broken that's what i just heard they're broken okay they're broken so broke people hurt people hurt people okay so for some of you here, these people wanted to see you broke. All right, what's the six of swords, but you're moving into calmer waters. You keep on moving forward. It doesn't fucking matter. At the end of the day, yeah, it gets a little wavy and yeah, it could little, you know, your boat's kind of like going from side to side, but at the end of the day, you're still moving forward. Okay, so nothing is gonna stop you guys. Nothing will stop you guys. Write that in the comment section. Smash the like button. Hit that like button, subscribe if you like vibes here. What's the Six of Swords? All right, yeah, you're moving into calmer waters with the Two of Cups. All right, you guys are finding your true soulmate. For some of you, you guys are calling in your soulmate. Okay, and you guys could be moving into, or maybe your soulmate lives at a distance. <coughs> What's this Two of Cups? This could be a partnership as well if you guys are not dating anybody. What's the Two of Cups? This is Harmony. What's the Two of Cups? The Two of Cups doesn't have to... Look, soulmates, it could be your mom. It could be your 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 brother. It could be your friend. Okay, so 
for some of you here, you're moving into calmer waters, okay, to go where there's balance and harmony, okay? And balance and harmony doesn't have to be with your divine counterpart, okay? But some of you are going on to, to the Two of Cups, where you're going to be moving somewhere or something like that, and you're going to have the Two of Cups. Two of Cups is like romantic love partnership a proposal marriage something like that somebody that's going to give you an equal give and take it's reciprocal it's not always like one-sided here okay one person has a cup the other person has a cup one person has their hand out the other person has their hand out and let's go let's do this and let's move on to calmer waters together okay so what's the six of the tower this is going to happen all of a sudden for some of you this doesn't have to be a bad tower. For some of you, you guys are moving away from the tower. You're avoiding some sort of chaos. Okay, the tower here, in this case, Scorpio energy, all right? The tower here, in this case, I feel like you're moving away from it, all right? And it's going to happen all of a sudden. What's the tower? Clarify the tower with the Six of Swords. Six of Wands. <laughs> You're going to be victorious. I feel like you guys are going to hit um, like fame status or you guys could be upcoming stars or something like that. The Six of Wands is somebody who does something in the public eye. You see all those people behind them? They're rooting for you. Okay, there's people that are rooting for you. All right, for some of you here, moving, all right, you got double sixes. 66 could be significant. All right, June 6 could be significant for some of you. 26 could be significant. 66 could be significant you guys are going to be victorious and it takes you to move somewhere okay leave whatever this tower is behind because it's set on a faulty foundation regardless okay it's going to crumble down regardless of the matter all it needs is a little you know and boom it goes down okay so with that tower i feel like you're going to be victorious wherever it is that you're moving on to you're going to be victorious somebody is going to give you the attention that you were wanting okay not that you guys want attention but yeah you're going to get the attention it's going to be reciprocal is what i'm getting what's this four of wands in the recent past so this is four of wands 11 11 you guys could be seeing those synchronicities again 11 11 44 444 222 666 you guys could be seeing a lot of synchronicities 10 10 five 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 what's this four of wands if you guys see a lot of synchronicities you're on the right track okay so what's this four of wands four of wands with the four of 44 again you guys are the chosen ones rest all right for some of you you guys are putting something to rest a twin flame union to rest You're leaving the tower behind. What's this four of swords with the four of wands? You're seeking peace. You're seeking tranquility. A equal give and take. Okay, but I see that that's going to be coming in. Or you're moving towards it. Okay, what is this um, four of swords with the four of wands? You have been praying. Some of you have been praying at night or something like that. Yeah, with the King of Cups, you guys have been praying to like an ancestor of yours or something like that. The King of Cups is an ancestor for some for some of you. I just feel like it's an ancestor. Your emotions are stable too. You're very nurturing. You're very um, emotionally stable. This could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio for some of you. I'm also picking up here, it could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that wants to truce with you, put something to rest, okay? Something from the past to rest, all right? Or there could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that was intervening in a Twin Flame Union. What's this King of Cups? What's the King of Cups? Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this could be a new love or something like that, a new opportunity, A new opportunity that comes in, okay, you guys are praying for new opportunities or a new love romance or you're calling in your soulmate with the Ace of Pentacles. You're going down a different path. This path has the mountains. You see the mountains outside? You don't. You have to go through the little um, path in here so that you can see the mountains. So growth, mountains signify growth. You're going to have a lot of growth, 
Okay, so this was in the past. You're leaving something behind. Okay, for some of you here, you're putting something to rest. Okay, and you're going with something that's new. A good opportunity. New opportunities. What's this three of wands here on your mind? But why is everything kind of happening? Why is it that there's a hurdle? Why is it that there's a stop? You guys might think that you have, like you may you might go like two steps forward and then 10 steps back okay with a three of wands let's clarify that maybe there was like uh yeah it's because somebody's watching you <laughs> okay with the page of swords it's almost like evil eye energy what's the page of swords with the three of wands in the reverse Somebody does not want to see you grow, and you guys, it doesn't matter. That's what you guys are meant to do is grow. That's what we're meant to do in life is grow, okay? You don't see anybody being the curious case of Benjamin Button going backwards here, okay? So, what's this page of swords with the three of wands, all right? For some of you here, I also pick up that if you guys were, like, researching something, you didn't research correctly, if you guys are signing something, now is not the time. Mercury retrograde is not the time for contracts with the Page of Swords. Okay, so what's this Three of Wands with the Page of Swords? You need to, like, study something. No, Three of Swords. Somebody here wants to reach out to you, but they don't know what your response is going to be. So they're just checking up on you to see if you've had a heartbreak they might even send somebody to come in and heart and make make you go through it or something like that it's almost like that kind of energy so you don't see any growth or anything like that so that you could always be heartbroken this person is almost like they stay hit they like maybe you you said the last thing or you 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 know you had the last word and they want to have the last word and everything okay so the three of swords right they were play you were placed in a third party situation they placed you in a third party situation now they're being placed in a third party situation now they're watching you to see but you're moving on what's this um five of hold on what's the three of swords here What's the Three of Swords? Yeah, they're confused. They're confused because you have a lot of options. Okay, they see you kind of expanding and growing. I don't think that Three of Wands was supposed to be in the reverse. I really don't. I feel like you have a sense of foresight. You know these people are coming back in. Okay. Um, for them, they're having obstacles. I feel like it's them who are having obstacles, but... Um, they're watching you to see if they could come in or something like that, but they're confused as to what you're going to say. What's this five? Let's clarify now, because in the near future, you have the five of pentacles. So this could be somebody that's coming in, leaving you out in the cold again, or you could be leaving them out in the cold. What's this five of pentacles? What was that? That's you guys. Queen of swords. You're cutting them off. You're regaining everything that you've lost in the past. What's this Five of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords? They're very bitter. <laughs> I don't know why. For some of you here, I'm picking up Nessie, um, for example. If you say, maybe whatever you do, you speak something, okay? You do something that has to do with, like, speaking up the truth or some shit along those lines okay you've cut them off they're being left out in the cold chances are that they're fighting because of you okay this person now wants to be like you or something like that so now this person is reminded of you constantly okay with the pay with the queen of swords here because this is you you've cut them off you don't even think of them what's the queen of swords with the five of pentacles i'm not gonna say you don't think of them but eight of yeah they want to communicate they want to send you some sort of message or something like that for some of you this is you speaking out the truth okay and them le being left out in the cold because you're speaking out the truth that's communication all right for some of you this person is going to communicate and let you know that now they're left out in the cold and for some of you you're going to accept them back
but and that's on you guys i could only tell you what the cards say and what advice i have for you okay but you guys are entitled to whatever decision you're making okay so guys don't forget to smash the like button um smash the like button subscribe all right let's see comment below what's this two of wands here under hidden you don't see this they're planning or you're planning something okay but you don't see this all right the fool this is you somebody's planning to reach out somebody's planning to take a leap of faith with you or you're planning to take a leap of faith with them something about distance is significant somebody is having like if you guys are having a long distance relationship or something like that it's going to come closer together or you're about to move in okay or something like that but yeah this is like somebody planning to take a leap of faith with you aquarius energy you don't see this it could be another aquarius like yourself it could be an aries leo sag there's communication coming in all right what's this two of wands and then for some of you this is like this eat pray love kind of energy where you're gonna go to italy for whatever you know like find yourself okay you have the world is in your hands you have the whole world this is your playground do whatever it is that you want to do experience whatever it is that you want to experience go visit places travel okay take that leap of faith you won't know success is in the other side of fear you won't know until you take a leap of faith okay for some of you here this is like is at a distance or you're going to be traveling at a distance that's that's heavy in this reading because you got six of swords two of wands eight of uh wands here I mean, like, you're just moving forward. I see movement, forward, movement, okay? Leaving things behind, all right? For some of you, it's hurt you to leave this behind, but it's emotional. You're thinking about your emotional stability, okay? For some of you, this twin flame union that you were in, you love this person, but you are more worried about your health. You're more worried about emotional balance. You don't need to be like this all the fucking time, okay? And when you were with this person, remember... You have to remember certain things. When you were with this person, were you happy all the time? Well, not all the time because nobody's happy all the time. But were you happy 75% of the time? You had to question those things. If you were happy like 25% of the time, or this person could have been like fucking miserable. Because this is like, woe is me. You know, like, stop crying. You know, let me see. What's the five of, Pentacle, five of cups? Because this could be you guys. This is in your environment. All right or this is like somebody in your environment that's like always crying or always like woe is me and very like negative dramatic what's the five of cups it could be your mother for some of you it could be a mother figure queen of cups you got the queen of swords with the queen of cups here here we go I feel like this is your reading, but it's not because I'm talking about the other person more. Um, but this person is in regret. Okay, it could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio because they listen to their mother or a sibling. Okay, what's this Five of Cups here with the Queen of Cups? Oh, what's this Five of Cups with the Queen of Cups? Eight of Pentacles. What's the Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the Five of Cups? Somebody could be, like, depressed here because you're always working, okay, or something like that. Or somebody could be, like, always nagging you because you're always working, but that's how you bring the bread. That's how you bring in, like the money or something like that queen of cups five of cups what's this queen of cups five of cups and the eight of pentacles some of you are psychics here yeah you guys do something online okay or you guys are like working on something aquarius taurus leo scorpio energy all right with the queen of cups here this queen of cups is causing some sort of like stagnicity or this five of uh of cups it could be a cancer all right they don't have to be um queen of cups it doesn't have to be a, a female 
okay, it could be a male who acts like a female. <laughs> All right, but it doesn't matter. Gender doesn't matter in tarot. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. That's what I got. All right, for some of you here, you guys are working or you guys are doing something online and you guys are psychics or something like that. You're very intuitive. All right, with the Five of Cups, somebody is very upset or somebody could be listening or something like that and they're very upset. They're in regret here with the Five of Cups. Give me one more for the Five of Cups. Who's, who's in this energy? Who's in this energy? The moon, cancer, a cancer could be significant, all right? The moon, all right? For some of you, you guys are in this energy because it's a full moon in Aquarius, all right? The moon does kind of like bring your moods a little off, so. The moon, something hidden is coming to light, okay? Remember the moon illuminates darkness. For some of you here, transmute that energy. If you guys are depressed and shit like that, transmute that energy. You need to be manifesting. You need to be doing a burning bowl. You need to be bringing good things into your life. You're leaving that shit fast movement forward, okay? You're leaving that shit behind. Clarify this Queen of Cups. Clarify the Queen of Cups spirit. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, it's a cycle. Somebody's stuck in some sort of cycle. With the Queen of... Um, somebody goes to this Queen of um, Cups for, like, advice. Okay, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio energy. And then you have the Capricorn. The devil is around here. Going around. All right, they see something is like... They see you as money or something like that. They see that they had a missed opportunity with you when it comes to money. Because you're over here shining. Because you're like traveling the world because you're you're doing your thing. You're in the eight of pentacles, very mastered at what you do, very skilled at what you do. If you're a nurse, ain't nobody could put a catheter in like you. If you are a whatever the fuck you do, OK, ain't nobody could do it like you. There's no competition. I'm hearing Megan the Stallion. Don't you ever grab the mic and think that me and you competing. Okay, so what's the judgment? You're calling judgment on these people or they're calling judgment on you or something like that. You're going through an awakening. All right, if people are treating you bad and unfair, you're going to treat them exactly the same way. Okay, they're judging you harshly for something or something like that. That could be significant for some of you. What's the judgment? I feel like they judge you by the book, by their, but they judge the book by its cover and everything that you've said or you set yourself out to do, you're doing it. Okay. You could probably have like eight multiple streams of income coming in. What's the judgment? And this is all your ancestors. Don't fuck with like, this is the, don't fuck with the ancestors here. Okay. They're watching. So with the judgment here, you're being watched. You're being protected by your ancestors. Let them keep fucking around. What's the judgment? You're self-made, right? Your ancestors are giving you an awakening to stay single. Okay, your ancestors are giving you an awakening Virgo energy to be a model. Okay, do you see that single tree? It doesn't need this other tree because it wasn't born with it. Okay, so... One tree here, one tree there, one bird there, one person here. Okay, get an animal. Get a support animal. For some of you, you're getting a support animal, right? But the Nine of Pentacles here, you're self-made. You are no longer codependent because your ancestors made it that way, okay? Your boss is your ancestors. They're the ones opening your doors, okay? You are self-made here, all right? With the judgment, you're being awakened to something, okay? It's almost like the trumpets have been sounding, okay? The trumpets have been sounding a wake up call, an awakening, spiritual growth is coming your way. Okay, nine of pentacles. Some of you could be like fruit, like doing something in a garden or like juicing or eating healthier or something like that. Look, Hierophant. The Hierophant Taurus energy. Long term commitment is coming. Traditional beliefs. That's religion. Some of you are getting into like religion or spirituality. It doesn't have to be religion. It could be spirituality. Okay, very wise or something like that. You guys are teachers. Your spiritual teachers are leaders of some sort. Okay, what's the judgment? With the judgment, you're being awakened to this. You're being awakened to your purpose. 
Your purpose is to teach. Your purpose is to write a book and teach others about whatever it is that you've learned. You have so much knowledge, okay? And knowledge is the one thing that nobody could take from you, but it's the one thing that you could give to others. Okay, so. Damn, that was good. You go, spirit. One more. Smash the like button, guys. All right, the lovers. All right, as soon as you surrender and you leave it to the divine, this is your angels, Your that's Archangel Gabriel. This is a Gabriel too. Both of them are Gabriel. Okay, if I'm not mistaken. I can't use my damn. Um, sorry about that. I just had a call. All right, you're going through an awakening here or your soulmate is going through an awakening or you're calling in your soulmate. Okay, you're going to have a choice to make. All right, so things are coming in for you. Things are happening for you. With the Hierophant, yeah, this is going to be long term. Somebody for the long haul. If you guys have been wanting it, you guys are. if you guys have been manifesting it, you guys are going to get it. If you guys have been wanting it, you guys are going to get it. If you guys, however, I feel like, let me clarify that Nine of Pentacles really quick because I feel like you guys need to be single or you need it to be single for a while. All right, nine months could be significant. Five years could be significant. It takes a while to heal from something. While the other person just goes off and jumps into the next relationship, okay, they're out there screwing Tom, Mary, and Joe, whatever, okay, getting shit, STDs, getting the monkeypox. I'm talking about monkeypox, I don't know. That shit, I'm in Miami, and that shit's already coming out again. All right, what's the nine of pentacles? Guys, put a cap on it before you tap it. Put a cap before you tap it. Cap it, tap it. What's the nine of pentacles? For most of you here that I'm reading to, look, you guys are like balancing yourself out, okay? Some of you are not even having sex. Okay, so two of swords, Libra energy, you're blindfolded with the ability to remove that blindfold and see things for what they truly are. You just need to put a decision in. You just need to make a decision, put a sword down, but you're blocking your heart. Okay, with this nine of uh, pentacles, you're blocking your heart, so you're not letting anybody in. So it's time to unblock your heart, forgive and forget. Well, not forget, you're not going to forget anything, but forgive the past, okay? Because at the end of the day, hurt people hurt people. Okay, forgive the past and move on with your life. Okay, um, what's this two of swords? What's the two of swords, spirit? Two of swords with the page of cups okay so your creativity is coming in all right allow new people to come in allow new things okay this is something new love offer L allow them to come in you guys are gonna you guys are gonna get some sort of love offer or something like that it's gonna come in okay but you don't see it you're blindfolded and your heart chakra is completely closed and with the nine of pentacles it kind of makes sense Okay, because you're single, you're not codependent, or you don't want to fall into codependencies, all right? If you're dealing with somebody who's younger, too, with the Page of Cups here, what's this Page of Cups? You guys need to make a decision about that. Yeah, you need to go ahead and um, balance, bring balance and harmony into a situation here, all right? Have patience. The Temperance, Sagittarius energy, you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius. All right, for some of you, you need to have patience with your kids. Clarify the temperance with the Page of Cups. The High Priestess. I feel like that's you guys, the High Priestess. All right. Yeah, you could be causing a lot of fights here. The High Priestess is secrets. Keep your move silent at this time. Okay. Um, you see, but you don't speak. You hear, but you don't speak. Whatever you hear, keep it to yourself. Don't fucking go and spread it around and shit like that. Okay, because that allows other people to come in with their fucking drama. That allows, it's almost like um, a invitation. Here's a quarter. Let me go ahead and, and, and start, you know. Nah, you don't need all that shit. Look at that. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. You do not need validation from others. You're whole and complete all by yourself. Advice, spirit guides. Thank you guys for my aquas. Clean and precise messages. For my aquas. What advice do you have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? 
And good guys, spirit guys, with good living light. Clear and precise messages. You got 666, be in a state of gratitude. Always be in a state of gratitude. Okay, you're born, you, you're you here another day. You're here for a purpose, whatever. Maybe you're having a bad day, but you're still here. Okay, so be grateful for that. All right, don't take things for granted. Even the small things, even this little bit of water. Okay, don't take that for granted because there's a lot of people that can't drink water. Okay, so gratitude. Be aware of your thoughts and bring them into balance. Let go of worries and concerns and surrender. All right, so surrender to the divine because some manipulation that you've experienced is slowly, is slowly losing its grip on you. Okay, so you're lo it's losing its grip. Nothing has a grip on you anymore. I feel like you guys are just moving forward. Okay, you guys are moving forward. You guys are the priests. You're being called to do something and you're stepping up. You're being called to do something and journey to somewhere and you're doing it. All right, the sun, conscious mind and ego. All right, the sun talks about illumination, vitality. Okay, so happiness. All right, get some sun. Some of you need to get some sun. All right, the sun decalcifies your pineal gland. All right, so just sun gazing kind of like, you know, it decalcifies your pineal gland and allows you to meditate. It allows you to see things, your intuition to flow easily. All right, before you give up, remember why you held on so long. What is this before you give up? All right, Saturn, responsibility and discipline. Okay, for some of you, this has to do with work responsibility and discipline before you give up remember why you held on so long so this could be about a job or something like that but saturn saturn's in retrograde right now and that's our planet one of our ruling planets too so and then we have the full the super moon the first super moon of the year okay which is going to be a big moon is going to be closer to us all right so and it's a blue moon sturgeon moon so a lot of things are being illuminated for you. You guys are having some sort of an awakening. And maybe this awakening is going to kick your ass. But at the end of the day, it's going to be worth it. All right? Divine timing has intervened for your success. Intervened for your protection or your success. You're being protected. Nothing these people have been doing or anything like that is going to come against you. All right? Ideals and intuition. Neptune. So Neptune, ideals and intuition. Your ideals, your ideas and stuff like that. And your intuition, don't dismiss it. They're on point. All right. Some people withhold information from others because they fear the other will get ahead. The universe is on your side working to bring you all that you deserve. All right. For some of you, you need to keep your move silent so that you could get ahead. Because these people are always often like watching you. With the page of swords, they're like literally stalking you. Or watching you. Why? Because you're that bitch, because you are that you you are that person. All right. It's okay to leave others behind when you're growing. That's why they're watching you. Because you're leaving them behind and they're like, Why? This person was so codependent at one point. They couldn't do anything without me. And now they're all alone and they're doing so much better. Yeah, that's what life is all about. You grow. You learn your lessons, you leave those motherfuckers behind, and you grow. The energy's gaining momentum. Okay. So you're gonna continue growing. What else we got for Aquarius, Summon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Angel Guys, Spirit Guys, Feel of Light, Clear and Precise Messages. What else we got for Aquarius for advice? Okay, some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. Some of you could be Aquarius, Pisces, Cuspers. All right, 219 to 320 could be significant. All right, and then it says can't make it up the first thing that i said insanity is doing the same thing over and over again expecting a, a different result and i put it right back in make room for the pl people places and things that deserve your time all right because it's coming all right you guys are leaving something behind you're not going to do the same shit over and over again okay you guys are leaving something behind and now it, you're ready for new things to come in and it's divinely guided all right the initiation rite of passage crossing the threshold okay you're crossing this threshold Angel guys, prayer guides, good little like clear and precise messages for my aquas. We get three. All right, so return to heart. I breathe light and stick to the essential for my soul. The present moment, I calm my thoughts and focus on my heart. I find space to be where my light uh, and greatness are. I find peace and in inner silence. So be silent. Okay. Return to heart. I'm going to show you these in just a second if you guys want to take a screenshot. 44 on the timer when I said that. 
All right, a new opening. When one door closes, I am confident another will open. You are the chosen ones. That's what happens with the chosen ones. When one door closes, another opens. These motherfuckers that have been trying to open, I mean, close your doors, now your doors are open. See, I can even say close because there's no such thing as a closed door. All my doors are open. Say that in the comment section. All right, so a new opening. When a door, when one door closes, I am confident another will open and it will be for my betterment. I accept that life brings challenge and acknowledge the opportunity and learning they present to me. Serenity comes from within. Give me one more. All right, so learning to love myself. That's what you guys are. Look, and again, a choice. All right, so you guys are going to have some sort of choice. Here you go. If you guys want to take a screenshot. Okay, so it says here, I choose serenity, light and positive energy, no matter what I go through. I choose happiness. I choose happiness. I rise above fear and direct my thoughts to God. All right, so you guys are choosing you. All right, I said that earlier. You're emotionally stable. You're choosing peace, tranquility. All right, learning to love myself. I choose to see the beauty in me. My wealth lies in the na in my nature and potential. I transform my weakness into strengths. I realize that I am being I am a being of light and I allow myself to shine. All right, so I'm going to put it close to you guys in case you want to take a screenshot. All right. And these are the other two. Guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment below. All right, let me know where you're tuning in from if this resonated with you guys don't forget to subscribe is a free way to donate to the channel all right um you guys have a lot of choices good things are coming in for you you guys are the high priestess you guys have an inner knowing okay the universe is on your side to protect you all right so guys i'm sending you peace love and prosperity i hope you have a great full moon and a happy monday all right sending you peace love and prosperity to every single one of you guys thank you all for the super thanks and the, the super chats and everything i'm so greatly humbled Okay, so sending you love to every single one of you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.